What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Innova Gorgon that just came out. I've got it here in the Star Pro and G Star plastic. Now Flight Factory Discs was kind enough to let me borrow these discs and bring them out here to show you guys how they fly. After you draw a conclusion and figure out which one you want, make sure you go ahead over to flightfactorydiscs.com to pick yours up. But yeah, without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna be throwing, um, we're gonna get an order here, so. I believe the star is going to be the most stable, followed by the pro and then the G star. The numbers on the Gorgon are 10, 6, negative 2, 1 in the pro and star plastic. However, in the G star, it's actually a 10, 6, negative 3, 1. Seemingly, it should be more understable. It's definitely got more dome on it. Real quick, I'll show you guys a side profile of the star versus the G star. Um, you can see the underside of the wing has like that Roadrunner style wing. Like it kind of curves under, which I really like the hand feel of that. Makes it feel really, really comfortable. And look at the dome on that one, on that G-Star on the left versus the star is actually kind of flat. And then the pro one, the pro one has a very similar profile to the star. All right, guys, we're going to give them a toss out there. Star, pro, and G-Star. Nice little flip up, straight and good hyzer finish. Do have a little bit of a tailwind pushing them right now. All right, pro next. Nice flip, almost a little bit of a turn it looks like out of that one. And again, nice fade. G-Star, let's see if we can get a little bit more turn out of this guy. Super domey. Huh. Definitely put it on more hyzer, but Really didn't seem to be any less stable than the other ones. Kind of surprised by how that G-Star one flew. Definitely didn't throw it exactly the same as the other ones. Definitely put it on a little bit more hyzer and uh, maybe a little bit nose up. Either way, they're flying really nice. I would definitely recommend this distance driver for most people that are looking for a distance driver. They think they need a destroyer or some other 12 speed where that's just not the case, honestly. Most people should be throwing like nine, 10 speeds because that's what their arm arms going to be more capable of throwing, and me included. I'm talking about, you know, everybody here except for pros, obviously. Unless you're throwing over 450 feet, you really don't need to be throwing a 12 speed driver. Stick with these 10 speeds because uh, they go just as far as my distance drivers do. So, all right, we're gonna see if we can throw these. Maybe just kind of flat, maybe a little bit of turn, go right around that tree and start fade back. Start out with a star again. There we go. A little bit better. Definitely got some turn out of it that time, but that was a little bit more nose down and flat. Let's do the pro next. These are all uh, 173 to five, by the way. Oh, a nice little flip and then turn. Put that on a little bit more hyzer, but I threw that with a better nose angle for sure again. So the pro one, definitely less stable than the star. Let's see that this G star. Wow. The G-Star one's the only one with a negative three turn, but didn't seem to want to turn as much as the Pro. I feel like the Pro should be the negative three one. All right, we're gonna try to throw these on a turnover. Then we're gonna do a forehand, and that's probably gonna wrap this up. Let me know down in the comments below which one you guys are thinking about picking up or which Gorgon you have picked up. Yeah, let me know down below. Wow. Okay, phone overheated while well, the star one was flying, but you guys saw I didn't really put it on Anheuser anyway, so. Let's see if we can throw this pro one on some Anheuser. I feel like this is the flippiest one. There we go. Look at that. It actually got some stability at the end too. Doesn't just want to burn over on you too bad. Here we go, G-Star. Wow, good bit of turn there. Yeah, I mean, this flow really similarly. Let's see if we can't make up for the star one here. Throw it better for you guys. Hit my chest a little bit on that one, but <laughs> yeah, that one kind of took off. Flipped up and turned all the way. That was, the, that was a pretty good throw actually, even though I hit my chest on it. All right, we're gonna toss them out on a forehand and then we're gonna end it out. 
I really think that this one being the flattest, the star one, uh, it feels pretty good on a forehand. Probably gonna need to put it on a little hyzer, but uh, we'll see what it does. Oh yeah, not too much flip up on my forehand there. Throwing right where that guy's throwing, but you know how it goes. I'm gonna wait for him to pass through. All right, pro one next. Ooh, see that one definitely, I think that one and the G-Star are probably pretty similar. The Star one is definitely way more stable, but these two are flying pretty similar. Oh, I threw it low. You can see that flip up a little bit. It's not too shabby. All right, guys, I'm going to give my phone a break. It's getting a bit hot here. Um, yeah, it's going to wrap it up for you guys. Let me know down in the comments which Gorgon you guys are picking. And make sure you go get them at flightfactorydisc.com. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.